So I'm five minutes early. Whatever. There we go. There. Decided to go live because it looked like my camera wasn't working, so I wanted to give it the ultimate. <laughs> there we go. What's up? Had a scare yesterday. I thought Layla got out of that. Oh. Oh my gosh. I would have been out there. Oh, come here, little kitty. I'll take you in. Yes, you <laughs> yeah, I would have. And then Mark would have said Cat two words to me, and it would have changed my whole. He would have said, Cat vomit. The kids are. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm too old for that. <laughs> I cleaned up enough vomit in my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, at least I'm glad she didn't get out. Right, I'm glad she didn't get out too. Our cats are indoor. Our, our cat is in. My cats have all always been indoor cats, unless something really bad happened, like. Oh, the time my stepdad made me put my cat outside and then she got pregnant. And then when she had her kittens, he moved her in the middle of labor and they all died. Yeah, he was a, he was a dick. He didn't care. I didn't like him at all. <laughs> Still don't like him. Kind of glad I don't have to associate with him. You know how you want to get rid of toxic people in your life? Well, that was one of them. Isn't that why they created 12 gauges? No, Mark. Settle down there, cowboy. Ah! Oh, well, it must have been scared. Poor thing. Aw. I'm going to see if I can back this up. Don't look at the camera. Don't look at the picture. I'm going to back it out a little. See if I can do that. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Close your, eyes. Close your eyes. That's a little better. How does the lighting and everything look? Okay, awesome. So I decided to do one of my jellyfish red because the water is bluish. It should be okay now. It, it's I, I probably could back out a little more. Uh, yeah. Um. Let's see if I can tighten that a little. More. See, I don't have a real camera stand thing. I, I just have this tripod and it's held up by it's sitting under some colored pencil cases and it's all very um, iffy. Shift. Makeshift is a good word. Yeah. Yeah. Makeshift. Because see my whole picture, my whole coloring picture doesn't fit in the in the um, in the frame. So I was trying to get it to where it would. That's okay. We'll see how this goes. Cause yesterday I had, I had, was it yesterday I had two episodes of low blood sugar? Yeah. I can't figure out why. Nothing's changed. I haven't stopped. I, I'm still eating what I'm eating and giving myself the same amount of dosage. So, hey, Rain. Hi there. How cool. Can't remember your name. I'm sorry. I I am hor. I should write this all down because I know that would be the wisest course of action to try and remember everybody's name. But um, I apologize. I, I don't remember your name. Your your you know true um, name, huh? Or Robin. Oh, and Emily. Robin. There we go. Robin. Right. Okay. Hello, Emily. Good to see you, sweetie. You were doing a um, Harry Potter colorathon, and I'm sorry I couldn't be there. I I really wanted to be. I just I haven't been feeling good the last couple days. So doing going into lives, I went to one and I just had to leave early because I was just like, ugh. 
But that's okay, you know, live and learn, I guess. <laughs> so I'm going, going to try to finish this today. If I don't finish this today, I'm going to finish it off camera and post it to Instagram. I just posted another one to Instagram today, and um, it's one that I finished a really long time ago, and I don't think I ever posted it to Instagram. I don't remember. So I went ahead and put it up because I found it on my phone. I was totally not looking for that when I was looking through my pictures on my phone. I was just like... I was looking for a picture of jellyfish so I could have a reference photo to, you know, to work on this. And, and, uh, <laughs> I saw that and I was like, Hey, did I ever put that on Instagram? I don't remember. So anyway, that's where I am working with reds today. And I was looking at, at the um, jellyfish pictures and it's really cool. When you look at a red jellyfish, it, it is red, but it it's, it's deeper colors are very red, but then as you get to the lighter parts, they get pinker and pinker and some coral and all kinds of stuff like that. It's really, really interesting in the way that, that they catch the light and, and kind of, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say magnify it, but that's not exactly the right word. Father's Day gifts. Oh, how cool. Oh, that's so neat. Oh, my gosh. Huh. Oh my. Let's see. We need a little bit of this. Yeah, I used to do the same with, with my kids when they were small. It was fun. I always liked making gifts rather than buying gifts. And I think they did too because it gave them a chance to just, you know, hang out with mom and and we all got happy and excited about what we were doing. And it was really neat. It was a lot of fun. Kids can be so much fun. Carlos. Is there. Carlos. Welcome. Good to see everyone. How is everyone doing? I know here in the States there's been... Uh, a resurgence of COVID-19 cases all over the place because of the, um, I guess you could say political and social unrest and people are just going out and doing all kinds of stuff in relation to that in regard to that. And people forgot, I think, that the, the COVID danger is still out there. And I'm thinking, you know, they don't tell you Ask and be careful for nothing. Even if you don't have it, you know, or if you don't know that you have it, you can still pass it on to other people like me who, who that's why I'm not going out right now. I am at high risk. And I was just watching a video this morning of, of someone else who is at high risk. And she said she was extremely uncomfortable going out because a lot of the people that were out weren't wearing masks or gloves or anything. And she was just really concerned because, you know, you're at high risk and you want people to be, to understand that, if you know, there are dangers still. And you need to really think about, you know, your fellow human. Well, <laughs> it's not going to hurt you to wear gloves and a mask. It's not going to hurt you, but it might hurt you if you catch COVID. So, I mean, really, what do you what do you have to lose? You're going to be uncomfortable for a little while? Come on. Suck it up, dudes. <laughs> ah, you're in Anaheim. Yes. Here is AZ2. What? Yeah. Oh, in. You meant to say in. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yep, Arnie, I know. It's it's like all of a sudden there's and they warned us, you know? They even warned us and said, Look, you guys, really you need to just you know, keep this keep this under control and all. And yeah, nobody listened. Well, I can't say that. It's not an absolute. People did listen and some people are still doing the right thing. It's just some people are not. So here we are. I have been working steadily on journals. I'm working on three large-ish jour journals right now. And then this morning I've been coloring. It's kind of a nice 
diversion. Um, the, uh, the problem with working on journals is sometimes I want to print stuff up and damn, my ink doesn't last a long time. <laughs> the ink just gets used up really, really fast. I have a great printer. It's a really nice printer. It's, it works really well. It's just that the ink is expensive. It's always expensive. All the ink for any printer is expensive. So I have, I actually have a, some credit on a, uh, is it a Staples or an Office Max copy card where you can you can load a card with some money in, and then take it to the copy machine and just stick it in there and it'll take the money off your card like a credit card and you can print up your stuff. I've been tempted to do that. I can't go out yet though. So yeah, my doctor's like, you can't go out. Not until, I mean, what's today? I can go out next week. Maybe. Pat McKnight. Pat McKnight, welcome. Some people, not sure how many numbers in Anaheim still don't wear. Oh, yeah. You know, if you're going to stay away from people, that's okay. Like if you're going to stay more than, I, I would say 10 feet to be safe. I know they say six feet, but I would say 10 feet just because, you know, that's my personal take on it. That's just me. But um, if you're going to be outside and you're walking and there's no one around you, I get that. If you're exercising, wearing a mask can be detrimental, especially if you have, if you're, you know, your breathing is compromised. But come on now, if you're just walking like to the store you can you can wear a mask. It's it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt you. I think I need my darker red. I am using four different reds right now. I am using this one is and these are Tombow. Um, they're Tombow ero erotogen pencils. Super cool. Very pigmented. Really nice. I love them. You don't have to you don't have to you know press really hard or anything. Um, this one is crimson. Then we have cherry red, and then I chose this neon. It's it's called surprise red. It's like a neon pinkish color, and that's pretty accurate right there. But I've got this little scrap piece of paper that's the same paper that I'm that the picture is on, and I'm using it to see what the colors will look like on this paper, so I know because yes, I know what the colors look like, but I don't always. I don't always know what the colors are going to look like on the gray. So that's why I have this little swatch sheet over here. And then the, the, the fourth one that I have right now is cameo pink. And I'm also kind of using this Coran Dash titanium buff. And this is, this is really good for adding um, highlights as you're coloring or after you're coloring either one. But, um, I like it because it's not stark white. It's a little bit, it's toned down just a little bit, but it's also very pigmented and the it's pretty soft. It's pretty soft and it blends really well with just about any pencil I've, I've found so far. So that's why I'm using that one. And then of course I've got my itty bitty ru uh, ruler eraser here. And this is a Tombow Mono Zero Elastomer Eraser, which which means it's it's a polymer eraser it works really good and it's got this itty bitty teeny tiny and uh point and then you can click it and it comes out so it's it's really convenient it's really easy to use you know you can you can um erase on the, on a like at an angle and make it pointy really fast which is another thing that i do with it because sometimes you just need that extra little point so that is what I'm using right now. I may pick up a couple others. I have some more pinks and things that I wanted to use. Uh, and then also while I was waiting this morning, I took a neon green and I went around on my um, on my seaweed plants and I kind of highlighted with the neon green on the tops of, of some of the leaves and the edges so that it looked kind of like they were catching the sun. Oh, it is blurry. How about that? Stop it. Stop it, camera. Oh. Curse you, camera. Curses. Yes. Come on. Come on. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Oh, come on. For heaven's sake. What did I do last time? I took out a pair of scissors, didn't I? 
Come on. Focus. Oh, for heaven's sake. What is... Well. It's just being stubborn today. <sighs> well, I've got to fix this. Um, let's see if this will work. Ah, there we go. It just hey, needed... Yeah. It just needed something to read. Right. Keep that <laughs> it's right there beside me. Okay. Oh, Marty says sometimes she puts her hand over the over the camera, and that forces it to focus in. Oh, so I will try that. Yeah. Thank you. Kind of just putting some highlights in here. I already. I. Uh, this is it. I can talk just fine. <laughs> I already had the white charcoal down. That's what I started with. I put white char white charcoal um, on all of the parts that I wanted to highlight when I started. And that it kind of gave me a guideline. But also it, it helps make it look really, really uh, very highlighted in certain areas, which is a great help. Thank you. Lisa and the trucking. She's the one that introduced me to the white charcoal i love that stuff oh my gosh and here's what it looks like if you guys don't don't know Lulu. hiya welcome so there's the white charcoal and it's a um actually not charcoal at all it's like chalk kind of like uh but it doesn't have it's not real flaky and it it's uh it doesn't have um it doesn't smudge really easy so it's really easy to use so oh my gosh you guys we are watching we we've been watching game of thrones we re-watched re the whole series and um we just got to the last season yesterday and oh my god i'm just like i can't stop thinking about it i know i'm weird i'm, I'm a total game of thrones geek but I'm a total Star Trek geek too, so I'm a big Star Trek fan. You name it. Any of the Star Trek series. Yep. Any of them. Didi! And Maribel! Oh, thank you, Lulu. Hey, Didi! Nice to see you. Oh my gosh, Didi, that live yesterday was so freaking fun. I'm sorry that you had to end it because of the wind, but I get it. I totally get it. I hope everything was okay. But yeah, that was so fun. I love just watching people craft. I don't even, I mean, you don't have to do anything spectacular. You just can do the same old stuff all over again and I'll still watch it. <laughs> that was so fun. Happy Sunday, Nanamo. Oh my gosh, Nanamo, I love your bug and flower pictures on Instagram. Those are super cool. I'm kind of an outdoorsy bug flowery. Love looking at those. You're really good at getting close-ups. Little macro pictures, man. Very cool. Come go back in here with this bright crimson. Add some. Donna, welcome. How are both of you doing? We are okay. Did you get over? Yeah, he did. Oh, you know what, Donna? I had two episodes of Low Blood Sugar yesterday. And and I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. It's just crazy. <laughs> creeps some people. Yeah, I know. It creeps some people out. But they're, they're bugs. I mean... Oh my gosh, they're just bugs. I love them. I love them. I think they're really cool. And the puppy. The puppy is cute too. I'm going to skip around probably a bit because as I see things, I just color what I see, you know, that needs coloring. I don't I don't have like a a system that I use. I don't go like down this side and then up that side or anything like that. 
I just, if I see something that needs coloring, I'll just, just jump over there and color it because that's how I work. It's kind of chaotic maybe to some people, but it works for me. I, I thrive on organized chaos. So it's good. It's good for me. It's not the only way. And it's, I'm not saying it's the right way to work. All I'm saying is that's how I do it. Donna says, keep the orange juice close by. And Donna says, it's a gorgeous image. Oh, I, I don't like orange juice. I do not like orange juice. I like um, apple juice, but I, I have to be really careful um, about what I eat and drink because my digestive system isn't normal because they took out a lot of my insides. <laughs> when they discovered the cancer, they discovered that there was there were parts that they had to take out because the cancer had spread a little bit between the time they discovered it and the time they could give me my operation. So I had what's called a Whipple procedure. And if you know anything about that, it's sort of like gastric bypass with um, a couple little extra details thrown in. If you want to look it up on Google, a Whipple procedure, I encourage you to do that because it's just too long to explain. <laughs> Corolla. Hey, sleepyhead. <laughs> apple grape whatever you're right i know huh oh grape juice i love grape juice i haven't had grape juice in so long Actually, what's that oh yeah I, I have the those little vial those little containers that we got at walmart yeah i have those little it's, it's like the perfect amount it's 15 right. grams of carbohydrates for a quick in a, it's like sugar water. Yeah. And, and that's what I, what I've been using because I was at one point I would just like eat something, but that it makes you so full. And then, oh, because I don't have a, a whole stomach anymore. I, I only have, you know, part of my stomach. Ah. It's an adventure, all right. But I realized the other day that it's been a year. It's been just over a year. On June 5th was my year anniversary of my last big surgery. And they told me, it's going to be at least a year for you to recover. And I'm like, here I am. There you are. Here we are. Still not recovered. That's okay. I'm not going anywhere, obviously. <laughs> yep, because um, we are grounded. <laughs> The state has grounded us. Okay, so... Oh, for heaven's sake, I forgot to turn my phone off. Sorry, guys. There we go. And I forgot to mute my computer, too. I'm glad you're fine, Donna. Wow, the room's full today, you guys. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that. I appreciate all of you coming to see me. It's like having guests over almost, which right now is super cool. <laughs> I think I'm going to need that darker, dark, dark one. Let's go here. Putting in some little bit of sh shadows. I was looking at pictures online of um, jellyfish and they showed a jellyfish um, on the beach. It was sad. It was like, what does a jellyfish look like when it's not in water? A pile of jelly. Shannon! Shannon! Hey there! Good to see you! Awesome! So I kind of know what Shannon's working on, but what's everybody else working on? I'm thinking Emily's probably coloring something jo Johanna Basford or Harry Potterish, which is cute as well. I need to turn my clipboard so I don't put creases in my paper. That would be brilliant. Woohoo! Oh, cool, Dee Dee. Awesome, awesome. 
Fabrica Fantasy. Oh, I love her work. Oh my gosh. Fabrica Fantasy. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, love that stuff. Yay. Oh my gosh, Corolla. You're doing a lot. I am finishing up a journal. I, I am making that I, it, that's actually just a bunch of envelopes. I, I have, we got an envelope in, had, I don't know, insurance stuff in it or something. It was like an 11 by, oh, I don't remember. It, it, it was bigger. It was bigger. And then a bunch of, of those. You know the envelopes that they send you when you when you get a bill and then you've got like the, the envelopes that they send to so you can mail your check back which we don't ever do because we pay everything online so i have this abundance of business envelopes so where is it oh here it is it's not done yet but i made the front window it, it's got acetate in it and i put some real flowers in there and sorry, Silk, and it's coming along really well. I really in, am enjoying it. It's kind of a fairy nature theme thing. But like I said, it's not done. I've got a lot a, a big old journaling card, and it's got all these flips and flaps. And Mark was like, wow. Because <laughs> it's got like this one's got, I haven't even done anything back here yet, really, but. Lots of book pages and um, paper pack paper and textiles and stuff like that. So having some fun. And then all of these are either Easter egg or um, Easter colors or food coloring or something like that. And then this is rice paper with stenciling on it. I love this. This rice paper is really fun to work with. It's thin, but it's really durable. It's really crazy. But yeah, I'm just like, you know, having a little bit of fun with it, using up some envelopes and made some bells on an altered paper clip. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. So paper pack paper and that's not the only thing. I'm still working on the Gentleman's Journal because that's, oh, thank you, Nanamo, because that's the big one. But Joe Beth, I see and send mail to so I can finally oh, oh. <laughs> thank you Corolla nothing new on art but I'm still managing two groups in DeviantArt oh my gosh Carlos that's not easy Dark Artist Inc really very cool oh wow yeah I, I remember when, when the, the groups were a really really big thing I don't know if they still are because I rarely ever go to DeviantArt I probably got like 4,000 notifications on there. No joke right now. But, yeah, It's okay. <laughs> I am. Um, what? Oh, cool. Dang. Wow. Oh, the small ones. Yeah. I like doing small ones too sometimes. It's just, you know, something to, to keep me occupied. And the postcard size stuff is really fun, I think. I am going to just color that over right there, and then I'm going to go over it with this one. Kind of blend it with this light pink. And let me see here. You know, you're really scared. Who, me? Yeah, you. Why? Because you keep using pink more and more of these. <laughs> and look, I'm not breaking out in hives. I can't, I kept, you? What have you done with my wife? <laughs> I kept telling him, oh, I'm allergic to pink. New members for the most, and especially new groups in DeviantArt. Yeah, yeah, Carlos. I know for a little while I was involved in a lot of groups and, and it just got to be so much, you know, and now on Facebook, I mean, I'm still involved in a lot of groups and um, I'm kind of letting some of them go because I just can't do it anymore. I just can't go, you know, do all of that stuff. 
I'd like to, but eh, ain't going to happen. And that's okay. I'm good with that. Let's see. What color is this? This is maroon. I kind of go. Oh, yeah. I'm going to use this for some deeper shadows down here. Because it's going to be darker as we go down into the water. Gonna kind of go around the edges of some of this. There's a lot of little detail stuff here. It's like little squiggly marks. I'll show you. Let's see if I can mess up the camera again. So down in here, see, there's a whole bunch of little um, detail squiggly things, like just jellyfish parts. But it's a lot of detail, and it's um, it might take a little while. I hope not. I don't want it to take a little while. I don't want it to take a long time. What are you giggling at? Oh, thank you, Corolla. Yes, thumbs up would be wonderful. I don't mean to take a long time. Let's see. You're out of focus. Oh man, there's that focus thing again. Okay, let's let's try let's try what Arnie did. Oh, that didn't look right. Yeah, no, that didn't work. There we go. That works. Okay. There we go. Back in focus. Okay, so your camera likes the alphabet more than it does anything else. Yeah, I guess so. I really like this maroon for shading because it, it has a blue undertone. That's exactly what I want. I want a blue undertone for shading because it's in the water. And blue just makes sense. i got to sharpen this. It's not very sharp. It's kind of got a stubby little point on it. I don't even know if I've ever sharpened this pencil. Oh, nice and pointy now. I always wipe off the sawdust. Well, once, no, how Bernard's doing. Oh, Bernard fell on my foot yesterday. He was mean. I think he bruised the top of my foot. That thing's not light, man. It's a solid piece of plastic. I think you should have. I think Bernard wants to say hello. Do you? Yeah, maybe. Bernard says hello. Hi, Corolla, my darling. Mwah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make her cats jealous. Oh. <laughs> what, Lulu? Why? <laughs> what did I do? I think she was reacting to you dropping him on your foot. Oh, I didn't drop him on my foot. He fell on my foot. What, you just... He took a header. He took a header off the side of the China China hutch and landed on the top of my <laughs> ugly cute. Yep, he is. Landed on the top of my foot. That was not fun. He forgot his parachute. Didn't he? he forgot his parachute. Oh, remember those little parachute guys? Yes. You know, you you have the little the little plastic parachute guy with strings and and then the plastic thin plastic parachute my mom used to try to make us little parachute guys out of bed sheets and it never worked as well i think it's because the bed sheets were too flimsy too yeah too heavy they didn't they didn't hold the air as well she we also try to make them out of napkins too oh God. that's gonna work yeah it never worked. no yeah, we used to we used to do all kinds of stuff like that. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't lose a toe too. I did break my foot once upon a time. It was sad. I broke my foot kicking a chair, a uh, kitchen chair, not on purpose. I didn't kick the chair on purpose. It just I was cleaning the table off and it kind of got in the way. But you know how things go. You know what? Let's do some indigo down here. This is a really dark spot right here there we go that's a little better and now to blend there we go much better yep 
Do some little squiggly things here. And let's go here. It's not going too slow. You know, now that everything's quiet. What? <laughs> um, I just thought of something. What did you think of? Well, the other night, I stayed up all night looking for the sun. Couldn't find it. You and did not. It dawned on me. And then it dawned on you. Oh, my God. Do you people hear this? Do you see what I have to put up with? Oh, my goodness. Yep. So let's see. What else has been going on? Oh, I planted stuff in the front yard. A few things. Not a lot. Because that's where my garden is, in the front yard, under the trees. And the um, some of them are actually sprouting. I might actually have parsley and basil and mint. And... Um, Zucchini, which would be awesome because I love zucchini. A sewing machine? Yay! Paper. Yep. <laughs> awesome. What do you need a sewing machine for? You're not sewing clothing. No, I'm not. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and you know what I've been thinking? If I see one at the thrift store that's like 25 bucks or less, I think I might snatch it up if I have the money because if I ever get out to the thrift store again, because if you can find an old heavy duty, all metal one, they're not that difficult to, to repair and they're worth it because they're all metal. They don't make everything. I mean, if you're going to buy an all metal sewing machine, it's going to be like, I don't know, what is it like 800, $900 for an all metal sewing machine. Now I know I have, Mark got me a Janome with our ta income tax return, what, like 10 years ago? And it is supposed to be all metal on the inside. I don't know if it is because it, I won't open it up. I don't do that. But um, it's, it's, it's older in its original price. It was like the last year's model when we bought it. And the original price on that thing was $799. We're talking $799. We got it for considerably less. I don't remember how much, but it was considerably less. But, oh, my God, that machine is awesome. And I'm thinking to myself, it would be really cool to have an old, old like an old Singer or, or a Husqvarna or something that's just really old and all metal. And maybe it might look like hell on the outside, but if it works good, who cares? As long as it doesn't snag my paper, you know? Hey, Evelyn! Right, Evelyn, did I get it right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God, $99, Donna. Oh, my God, that's, that is really, wow. That's heck of a price. They probably killed you with shipping. Nah, probably, yeah. Oh, my God, Evelyn, a 1941 singer? That's cool. Awesome. Okay, I gotta get rid of this notification on my screen. Dang it. Let's put my little pointer way up there. Oh my god, Shannon's got a grandma's antique pedal soap singer. Oh my god. That's cool. Okay, I'm still working on these dark spots here. Yeah, older sewing machines, they don't make them like that anymore. Well, they, yeah, they don't, no. Even the new ones, they're still, you know. I just think that they paid a lot more attention to um, quality over quantity when, uh, when they started making all this, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. 
that looks really good. That looks much better. Okay, now, mm, let's get a little bit more in here. Everybody's got singers. See, a, singers are a good brand. Janome isn't a bad brand. It's This machine has been really good, but I'm taking care of it, too. In fact, before this one, the one I had, I got for $125 at Walmart, and it lasted me 15 years. And when it finally broke and stopped working, we went to this place here locally. It's called Mole Queens, and it's an, a family-owned, I don't know, a family-owned business, right? And um, they sell all kinds of sewing machines and, and sergers and quilting machines and fabric. And it's like, if you want to go to a sewing shop, it's heaven for you. Um, but when we went there, I was telling them, yeah, I, I've had this brother sewing machine and it cost me this much at Walmart and it's this model. And I don't remember what, but it's this model. And the guy looked at me and he said, you've had it for how long? I'm surprised it lasted that long. Those things don't, aren't made to last that long. They're only made to last a couple of years. And I was like, yeah, but I cleaned it out like every couple of days. And the guy was like, wow. Nineteen fifty fifties British nineteen forty one singer from the, oh 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 a nine forty one a nine forty one singer from the forties man you guys I'm so jealous original old singer from oh Nanamo you see everybody's wow and I said I do not have the strength of my granny to work that pedal <laughs> I know huh oh my gosh. You found the spoon you lost? It's always good to find spoons, Arnie. <laughs> Check in the fridge. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, I'm right there with Shannon. I, I've given up on the Autocorrect, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my goodness. Yep, autocorrect. Such a taskmaster. Rude. Oh, I'm going to get some water, guys. Oh, that's good stuff. Mm. I know it's just water, but hey. <laughs> Oh, I don't want that color anymore. I want and this color. I'm going back to crimson. I'm sorry. It's cherry red. Cherry. Where's my crimson? I thought I had crimson. Well, that's it. Okay. I'm fine. bit here and I think I'm just gonna make that red I don't know it might be part of the plant but I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> ah, it's part of the jellyfish now and I think I'm actually I'm sure gonna that I don't think they are if they do well I'll come up with some story <laughs> Putting in my, I'm, I'm actually working with, this is the pink. This is a cameo pink. And I changed my mind because I want to put in the lighter color first. So that way I have that light base down. Um, because you, you can make it darker, but you can't make it lighter once you put down a darker color. So I just thought it would be a wiser course of action to start with my pink. Autocorrect insists on making rigs. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Spelling his name wrong on the divorce papers. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Donna, I agree. It can. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Evelyn. No. Oh my gosh. That's kind of funny because I have these um, from 1940. I can't remember something when my mom graduated from high school. They used to have these little books where everybody had uh, a, like a little card in, in the page, like um, behind some little photo corners. And it was like a little scrapbook, but it was just full of, of name cards for the graduating class. And my, my mom didn't have one, but my, my aunt Donna, I think, who is, he, she was like, I don't know, 12 years older. She was my mom's older sister and she was like 12 years older than my mom, but she um, found these, these books at um, a yard sale or a garage sale or something. And I got them when my mom passed away because I just, I saw them and I was like, Oh, that's cool. Those are really old. I want those. So I took them. And then for the longest time, I couldn't find them because I had put them somewhere where I thought they would be safe. <laughs> they were safe for me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I kind of, I, I hid them from myself um, on accident. So I get it. <laughs> All that to tell you, I completely understand. Oh, yep. Oh my gosh. But Confederate money. Wow. What a cool thing. Oh my gosh. I was looking at something the other day. It was a, there's this lady who has, I can't remember what her name is. Patty Lang, I think she does old, she does auctions and she sells old, old books and, and Harper's and, you know, just ephemera and stuff like, you know, that you'd, you'd, kill to get your hands on because they're super old and still in good condition apparently she went to a um she goes to a, a thrift stores and stuff and she manages to find really old cool books magazines etc and she, she was showing us some of the books and stuff that she had gotten at at a thrift store for crying out loud and i was just like no freaking how the heck do you manage to stumble upon all of these incredible thing you know because you're just looking at them and you're going how do you find these and and you know i don't know i i wish i could i have been lucky enough to occasionally find stuff that's old and still in good condition like one of the books that i have it's um it's an old textbook from 1972 or three and the book is older than that but I didn't know how old the book was because I neglected to look before I started cutting it up. And I wish I hadn't cut it up. I wish I would just, you know, scanned it all, but I did. And now it's, it's cut up, but it's really thick. It's got a whole bunch of Leonardo da Vinci sketches in it. They're not of course, originals, they're copies of his sketches, but the book is, is really, really old. So I'm just like, huh? I might as well use it. I might as well just finish the job and take the, the binding stitching out and, and just, you know, use it. Oh my God. So I did. A missing person inside it is my missing prescription sunglasses. <gasps> Donna, that sucks. Oh, yeah, I know. Who turned the sun on? Turn that thing off. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Carlos. I appreciate that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yep. Your front bedroom is just full of stuff. Whole. Oh. oh. You know, Evelyn, I could go in there then and I could probably spend like two days in there and never come out. <laughs> just give me a cup, a bottle of water and my insulin and, and I'm just going to stay in there and, and look at all stuff because it's cool. What, Shannon? One of my neighbors growing up bought a picture from an auction from someone who had passed, and there was $10,000 hidden in the frame? No freaking way! That is so cool! And wow! Oh my... We can never find that. I know, man! I'm going to buy this old mattress from the thrift store. Guess what? No, really, because people used to hide money in mattresses. Not the best place to hide it, but I mean, wouldn't that be weird?
buy an old mattress and find out there's seven hundred dollars i'd settle for seven hundred dollars I'd, I'd i'd like more but i'd settle for that such an odd figure seven hundred <laughs> i don't know why i came up with that it just popped out of my mouth <laughs> picking my photo of my great grandfather from oh that's cool i love old pictures Oh, that'd be cool. Yes, Evelyn, post it to the group. Absolutely. Some people's puppies have all the luck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm gonna use this cherry red now and I'm just kind of, kind of, just gonna kind of blend it a little bit and bring out some of that red color. Darker red, dark red. Dang it, there's another one. Okay. So what do you think? Rainier cherries or maraschino cherries? Oh, rainier cherries. Yeah. Oh, definitely. They're so good. The color? Yeah, you said it was cherry red. What kind of cherry? Oh, no. These are, these are like maraschino. This is like a maraschino cherry red. It's bright, bright red. It's not like rainier cherry red. Look, those are like coral with red splashes and splotches and... They're gorgeous. No. I think so. You're colorblind. No, actually I'm not. <laughs> my son is colorblind. My son is, um, oh my gosh, he just turned 30. Um, or 31, something like that. Anyway, yeah, he's, he's colorblind, but he comes by it. Honestly, my father was also colorblind, and I always thought that was the weirdest thing. My mom told me he was, and... Um, when she found out that my son Alex is colorblind as well, she's like, well, you know, your, your dad was too. And I was just like, wow, I didn't know that. You know, at the time I didn't know that, but yeah, it's weird because he, he looks at my son, he looks at the, the stoplight and he doesn't see um, red and yellow and green. He sees like weird shit, like yellow is gray to him. Rochelle, hello, welcome. An old photo album. I have no idea who the people are, but it's really cool because they are in tin. Oh my God, Evelyn, that is so, tinotypes are so cool. I love them. I love them. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, I bet that's beautiful. Oh, holy moly. Yep, you are lucky, lucky. Yep, I, I, I studied, uh, when I was studying art history, we went through the whole, like, daguerreotypes and tenotypes, and, you know, you have to kind of know the history of all kinds of art, and photography is a type of art, so. Very interesting stuff. Yep. Loved that. I loved art classes. Art history was fun. Art studio was fun. Teaching it was fun. That was very fun. But I love teaching, so, you know. Keep missing spots. Missed a spot. Oops. Missed a spot. <laughs> so here we go. Well, just yeah, I'm saving it for later. That's it. That that's what that's what I'm doing. Thanks, Mark. I feel better about myself now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Evelyn, you can translate on Google Translate. You can translate to a point. Oh, there you go. Mark already said it. Dar. <laughs> I totally missed that. But yeah, cool. Yeah, sometimes I feel like if it's names or something, it probably isn't going to help a lot. But... Well, if it's names, you can tell it's a name pretty much. But yeah, if it's just conversational German, it's especially if it's like dialectic, 
where, you know, the East and the West don't speak exactly like in the United States, people from the East and, and people from the far, like from California and people from, I don't know, Maine, they can say things to each other and they don't necessarily understand each other because of the dialect, because of the, the local, you know, and it's, it's really, I love it. It's really, language is a very interesting thing. And the, the whole accent stuff, I mean, people from Maine have the coolest accent. And that's just within the United States. My favorite accent, hands down, Irish. Love that. Love listening to that. British is awesome, too. But the, again, you've got all those dialects, you know, you know you've got the different sounds, the way people say their words. It's so cool. It's interesting. Okay, I'm done. <clears throat> Lurking. Okay. Lurk away, Lulu. I think there was an app that also translates. There probably is, Arnie, an app. Oh, Evelyn, the clothing. Yes. Love that stuff. Oh my God. There we go. See, it's coming out so that the, the cherry red is not super dark because of the pink I already put on there. And. Evelyn says she loves the window screen. She can she could listen to her for hours. Oh, I know, man. Absolutely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Let's work with a little bit of, let's see, what is this? This is um, crimson. Yep, that's the color I wanted. And kind of try to blend this in a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, the other day it was so cool. I was out water in the front yard and a lovebird was watching me from the tree. And usually the lovebirds don't hang out here very much. But this one was sitting in the tree just looking at me. And you can tell when they're looking at you because, you know, they, they have to turn their face sideways so they can see you with an eye. It was so cool. They are so pretty. And they're wild here. I don't know if, um, I don't know if you guys know that, but um, here in Arizona, the, the lovebirds are wild. They're the, the green ones with the red cheeks. Or the males are, anyway. Very, very cool. And they're so loud. Evidently, you have another fan. Oh, look at, there's my hand. Corolla said, she just sent it to us. Oh, Corolla, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, my God, that's adorable. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that yeah, look at you guys. Look at this. Corolla's baby is watching me. Is that not the <laughs> sweetest thing ever? Oh, my God. I love it. Thank you, Corolla. That made me very happy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hummingbirds. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. What? Oh my god, how the heck did it get in there? Really? Come on. <laughs> well, okay, fine. It's small, but really? That's, I mean that is cool. That's it really it's cool. very cool. There's just, that's one thing that recently we've been able to do is, is look at, find hummingbird nests up in our trees because one of them was down, actually, it was like at my, kind of my waist level, but the hummingbird was like, it didn't know, you know? Kitty coolness, yes! Four-legged children are snoring. Ah, stop snoring! <laughs> Really 
put in here that um, my boss's wife is Irish, but she only has the accent when she's mad. When she's mad? <laughs> Mark was... You know you're screwed. Yeah, right? Mark is just telling me about... about um, Evelyn, about your boss's wife, Irish, her Irish accent only coming out when she's mad. Yeah, <laughs> I get that. Oh, man. How fun. And then Mark says, still, now you know when you're screwed, right? <laughs> ah, so many notifications. So many. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people save them. I actually, I have these these little guys that I'm making um, with leftover thread from stuff. I might put them in my Etsy shop. I haven't decided yet, but they're, they're just made out of thread. And I have tons of little pearl beads. So I could put like little pearls in there. This is all held together with like um, PVA glue. It's just white glue, like Elmer's. PVA glue isn't Elmer's glue. It's a little stronger because it's it's made for making books. But Elmer's glue works really good. Isn't that cute? About the size of hummingbird. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. My grandmother used to talk in Polish regardless of whether she was mad or not. That must have been something. That was, it was difficult. If it wasn't for my mom translating, it would have been really bad. Really bad? <laughs> oh, man, I colored part of her tail red. Oh, well. It'll be shaded. It's the shady part. Made a mistake. It happens. Not worried. If I screw up. She was just blushing. She was blushing. Oh, her tail is blushing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't know if any of, any of you guys have seen the um, the movie Splash with Daryl Hannah and Tom Hanks when he was like a baby. He wasn't really a baby. He was like 21 or something. Um, I heard that they they had to take that off of Netflix or I don't know. There there was some controversy about the movie. And I was just like, why don't you just leave it alone? That movie is like a really cute movie. I loved it. Really about, Splash? about Splash. Well, you know. It's a mermaid. She's probably topless. Well, she was topless, but they kind of, her hair covered it. I know it's sad. People are so uptight now. And it just seems like the more this, this whole COVID thing carries on, the more bored people become and then they're looking for something to do. So they just start picking on stuff. It's kind of sad. Just live and let live. Peoples, just stop it. Chill the heck out. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Ah, more notifications. I think I'm going to need, where did that go? My maroon back because I'm seeing little spots back here that need to be darker. Just, you know, because that's the way I want them. It may not make sense in the end, but oh well. It'll look good. There we go. That's much better. Yay. Yay. Oh, man. 
Holy cannoli! Oh man, finches, finches, we get these little golden finches that they're wild, but they hang out in our yards because we have a we have bird baths. We have one in the back and two in the front. Bird baths, not finches. And um we have a lot more finches than that. They're so pretty. They're like bright yellow. I love them. And they're loud. They're like chatty. What's really loud, the grackles are loud. Holy crap. Talk about something that's going to wake you up. Yep. Grackles are loud and obnoxious. And they stick stuff in your bird bath all the time. Like, they'll pick up baby birds and stick them in there to... It's gross. Most of the time, they just find bread and stick it in your bird bath. You know, so it gets all soggy and they just eat it after that. But sometimes they actually find really nasty things to put in your bird bath. That being said, it still looks like you're working on a raised picture. A raised picture? I, I hope that's a good thing. I'm just going to... Keep doing the little shadow stuff. Just trying to really want to get this done because I really want to see what it looks like. <laughs> uh, let's see. Down here probably could use some. Yep. Now if I don't mess it up and color the wrong thing again, let's see. A little bit confusing. There's just so much detail down here. Hey, Zizi. Z? Yeah. Hey, Sue. That's my sister. You made it. Oh my god, it's so good to see you in here. That you guys, Z Perryman is my sister, my real life sister. Yay! We're coloring. Oh, cool. Thank you, Evelyn. That's kind of a cool compliment there. The grackles were horrid. Oh, I know, Donna, they can be, I know, <laughs> crack. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, we have grackles out here and they're almost thugs. They are almost thugs. It's funny, you know, I watch the birds and I have discovered that the sparrows are just thugs. The sparrows are thugs, man. They're these little tiny birds and it's like they have a chip on their shoulder or wing or whatever. Napoleon complex. Napoleon, yeah. <laughs> oh, crows. Yeah, they're not. They're not even corvids. They're, they're. I don't even know what kind of bird they're, but they're not even the cor corvid family. So Z, what what was up with your with your computer? Was it it? I know that if you're using um, an iPad, sometimes you have to go to the live streams differently, or to the videos differently. And sometimes if you're using a, a phone, like a, a smartphone, it, um, uh, Android. There's Android, and there's what other anyway. Yeah. Sometimes if you're using different devices, you have to go into the to the live streams differently. And I, I can never keep it straight which one is which. So, <laughs> Evelyn, you hate sparrows? Oh, my God. You shot. <laughs> Holy crap. You know, we used to have a problem with iPhone. Thank you, Evelyn. Yes, iPhone and Apple. Yeah. Samsung tablet. Huh. That should have worked just fine. That's weird. Oh, well, it happens. I'm glad you figured it out, though. I'm glad you're here. It's good to see you. I miss you. What was I saying? <laughs> totally lost it. Oh, my gosh. 
Okay, so on a side note. Side note. Grackle is the common name of any of 11 passerine birds native to North and South America. They belong to various genera in the Icterid family. Icterid. Okay. Oh, I know what I was talking about. I was talking about um, Oss. <laughs> Uh, blah, you're gonna make me cry. When I lived up in Sholo, we had a really big problem with woodpeckers, and they would come and they would peck on the side of the house. You know, I mean, it's dawn. It's like dawn. Okay, it's 4:30 in the morning, and the woodpeckers are pecking on your house, waking you up. Holy crap! And you can't do anything about it because you know, if you get up to chase the bird away, you're awake then. And you're tired. If you don't get up to chase the bird away, you're tired because you're laying in bed going, God, I can't sleep because of this damn woodpecker. So, <laughs> so one day I was, I had, um, I think we had a BB gun or something. And the woodpecker, it kept flying back and forth from the house to this little juniper tree that was in our backyard. And it would go up into the juniper tree and sit there and screech and, do all kinds of crazy stuff and then come back to the house and peck on the house. Well, at one point I was just like, all right, that's it. I'm done with you. So I, I waited until it went out into the juniper tree and I shot at it. Well, I didn't see what happened to it. And it was in the middle of winter and there was like two feet of snow on the ground. And I'm thinking, Oh, it just flew away. Well, when the snow thawed, there was a dead woodpecker at the foot of the tree. I actually hit it. And I don't know how I managed to do that. I must have just been really mad. <laughs> but yeah, I, I shot it. I, I was really just trying to scare it away. But I mean, yeah, I was just. Put an eye out. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all your eye out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Steal the food from the Robins and the Martins. Oh, I didn't know that. They are thugs. One good thing, guinea hen. Oh, guinea hens eat ticks. That's good to know. It yeah. Is good to know. Don't chickens eat ticks and things too? I, I don't know. Chickens eat everything. Chickens eat everything. Ew, uh, chickens are just bad. I don't like chickens. Oh my God, the people next door, they have chickens now, but they also have two turkeys. Just think about that for a second, guys. We're in the middle of the city. And they have two turkeys. Okay. I don't know about you, but if you fatten up a turkey, they taste really good. <laughs> uh, right now, one of them jumps the fence. Oh, yeah. It's gone. Yep. Her, her chickens regularly, it, when they're getting ready to lay, they break out of the yard every time. Every year it happens. One year they came over into my next into my garden on the side of the house where I had tons of morning glories growing. They were just I my morning glories were doing famously well. Beautiful big blue blossoms just all over the place out there. And those damn birds got over there and ate things right down to the ground. And I was so mad. I was so upset because I was just like, do you know how hard it is to get morning glories to grow here? It is just really hard. So I was just like, oh yeah, that's I'm done. If you're if your chickens don't quit coming over here and knocking on our door. <laughs> yep. yep. Oh I know. Donuts. Yes. Yeah, they, they were feeding them um uh pork rinds. And I was just like, that's gross. But I mean if they're gonna eat it, what the hell? Why not? So um yeah, if if they break out they might disappear and find, you know, end up in our freezer because I am not afraid to butcher a chicken. I can do that. Done rabbits, fish. I haven't done any big game. I haven't, I haven't cleaned any good in, you know, like uh, elk or deer or anything like that, but rabbits, rabbits about the biggest, biggest. Well, I don't know. I had a catfish that was really big one time and that thing wouldn't die. Oh my God. <laughs> Morning flowers are my flower. Aw. I'm just thinking about that. What? What did you just say? 
you had this really big catfish and it wouldn't die. It wouldn't die. This visual of this thing flopping around the boat chasing you. No! Oh my god, no! We, you, well, you know, when you catch fish, you put it on a stringer and you hang it over the side of the boat so they, they stay alive and they don't die so they don't start, you know, rotting right away. Well, this one stayed alive. It stayed alive all the way home. It stayed alive after we got home. I put it into the, chi the kitchen sink with water in it and the damn thing started swimming around the kitchen sink. And I'm like, yeah, a catfish, Z. A catfish. It was huge, too. It was like eight pounds. It was enormous. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm like, how am I going to, what am I going to do with this fish? Electrocute it? No, that might have been an option, except that the sink was metal. And? <laughs> Shut up. Oh, my God. So here I am. We have a catfish, a live catfish swimming around our kitchen sink, right? My mother and stepfather were coming to visit us, and they were like, I don't know, 10 minutes away. And I'm like, I can't just leave this fish in. Dude, Evelyn, dude, you hit that nail on the head. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. I got the hammer, and I smashed its head. That's the only way I could get that dang thing to die. I I felt so bad doing it, but I was just like, I can't, I can't just, I can't do it. I can't just leave this thing in the sink. <laughs> it was crazy. You know, there's only one thing to say to that. What? Smack the fish! Smack the bugs! <laughs> if you guys are Game of Thrones fan, you know what I'm, fans, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes! Stab it. You know what? Um, No. No stabbing. Cut the head off. I actually thought about that. See, that would work. That would work too, except that it was really hard to hold it because it was eight freaking pounds. Shotgun? Shotgun. Here, hang this in the tree for me. <laughs> what the hell? You shot a bird. You know, I, I uh, shot a bird. Shot What's fish? the difference? <laughs> shoot a bird, shoot oh, a fish. She had one guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That that's freaking thing. Story. I like that one. That freaking thing would not. Tell me a bedtime story. I'll tell you a story about the catfish that wouldn't die. Oh, my God. Yeah, my grandkids are going to be like, Grandma's so mean. Uh, but yeah, that, that's what happened. But damn, that thing was good. Oh, yums. How do you clean a fish? With a knife? Is that a question, Z? Because, oh, uh, yeah. She's going back to the cut its head off. How do you... knife to clean it, might as well just cut the head yeah, off. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> might as well. Yeah, it's just, it was really hard to hold on to it because it was flopping all over the place. And I couldn't, I couldn't actually, you know, because, I mean, that thing was fat. It's hard to hold on to that and cut the head off. And I didn't want to slip and cut myself because God knows what's on the outside of those fish. We did too. And also had turkeys, peacocks, Canadian geese, and Africa. How cool, Rochelle. That's, that's a heck of a meteor. That is. Brought me a live lobster for my birthday. I couldn't kill it. Oh, it was still blowing bubbles after a week. Wow. Like the, parrot joke. the parrot in the freezer. Joke? The, the parrot in the freezer. Yes. Oh my god. Z, you're right. I could have stabbed it. I could have. I, I just, I just, I didn't want to repeatedly stab it. Because well, now I've got the two or the, the little scene from Psycho going through. Right? Now I've got the scene from Pulp Fiction where they were talking about stabbing her in the heart with the, the, you know. The needle. Oh right. Remember? Yeah. And 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 yeah. Eric Stoltz is like, you have to stab her, and, and John Travolta says, yeah, I gotta stab her three times. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. It was. I love Pulp Fiction. It was a good movie. Actually, 
I remember correctly, you, you what? have to get, if you get a whole lobster, you have to get them live. You have to cook them live. You're supposed to cook them live, yes. Yeah, because otherwise it poisons the meat, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know about that, but I know that you're supposed to put them in the boiling water al alive. Yeah. So you have to skin them. You use pliers and pull off. Yes, Evelyn. Yes. Petting zoo Rochelle. That's cool. Oh, I bet it was a lot of work. Oh, my God. Lulu, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God. I hope I didn't offend. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You know what else is really good? Um, uh, pike. You can only make, I mean, pike have a lot of little bones, the fish. So, you know, you, you can't just like, a catfish, you can make fillets, but a, the pike, you have to actually make nuggets. Mm -hmm. Talk about good fish. Oh, very tasty. Until I learned to fish before I was five. Wow, that's so cool. I learned how to, I learned how to, oh, I didn't learn how to clean fish until I was up in Sholo. I mean, I in theory knew how, but I never did it. And then, um, okay, Lulu, I'm glad. I'm glad you're not offended. I didn't, I didn't even think. I, I just, it was all in fun. Yeah, Rochelle, they are very bony. Pike are very bony, but they're very good. Oh my God, Evelyn, I have a, I have a crawfish story too. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we used to go fishing a lot when I was up in Sholo and we had two cats. We had, um, um, Kyle, who was this, he was like a 13, 14 pound Tomcat. Well, he used to be a Tomcat before he had the operation snip, snip. And, um, the second cat we had, her name was Kelly and she was a tiny little long haired, like a Persian but she was very small. Okay. And she, she had attitude enough for both cats. Believe me. So, oh yeah. Crawfish. Yum. So we, we would go fishing and it was kind of the, the, the crawfish, they were all over the place in the shallow water, you know, because of the plants and everything. And if you wanted to catch the bass, you had to fish the shallow because the, the bass would hide in the grasses at the shore, you know, along the shoreline. And oh my God, bass! Oh, talk about yummy fish! But okay, so we we throw our our uh, bait in there and whatever we were using, and um, half the time, if it was a worm, of course, or we were using meat, like it, you do sometimes when you want to catch a catfish, you just stick like a piece of chicken liver on there or something. And I gotta I gotta tell you, we found that what works really good is a piece of chicken liver. And we found this by accident, but if you put like um, Cheeto crumbs around it, because yeah, we were eating Cheetos. If you just like put Cheeto crumbs around the chicken liver and then put that in the water, of course the, the, the Cheeto crumbs fall off in the water, but it kind of like draws the fish, I guess, to the chicken liver and they eat it, but it worked really good. Accidental, yeah, happy little accident. Anyway, so we kept catching crawfish we catch catch them we kept catching them and, and we were like what are, i don't want to throw them back because um you know they're just gonna go back down there and eat our bait so we were putting them in this container and god no lulu i would never shoot a cat except for with a spray gun a spray bottle <laughs> so um we were putting them in a container and and I was like, well, you know, I don't know how to fix these, but I mean, they're still alive. Why don't we just take them back? I'll figure out how to fix them. So we took them home and I put them in the kitchen sink with, you know, a little bit of water so they would stay alive. And I didn't even think about, you know, the cats, what the cats would do or anything. Right, dude, wait, just wait. So we had to go out again to go grocery shopping. And we couldn't, I guess we couldn't wait because it was like a weekend and you know how things are. You have to go on the weekend. You have to go when you can go. And, um, so we were, we went grocery shopping and we came home and I was the first one in the door. And when I opened the door, I opened it and it went crunch <laughs> <laughs> because there was a crawfish 
on the hinge side of the door and it was like sort of in the crack and it crushed its claw in the door and i'm like oh man okay so i open the door and i come in and they're all out of the sink they were all out of the sink the cats had been messing with them and we had to search for one of them but we found the other ones pretty easily but dudes oh my god catfish i mean crawfish on the loose in our house oh god that was so funny yep but the the weirdest and i felt so bad because when i opened the door i totally crushed that one and i was just like oh my god how did you get down there and then i was just like duh cats so yeah funny funny stuff this is the thing this is our these are the things you learn from oh my goodness and then i checked the cats because i was like oh my gosh did you get pinched because you know i was worried that they got hurt those claws are not they were i don't know they were like that big like six inches they were pretty healthy well what else would they be maybe lobsters no they were Baby lobster. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, no, they weren't lobsters. They were, they were crawfish. They were, they were the real deal. And then, oh my God. And then a friend of ours, they, they, they have had traps and they would trap them and they, you know, have a bake and, and they'd make like a, a couple of big metal aluminum pans full of crawfish. And what they would do is they would brine them in the bathtub, which I didn't have a problem with because if you're going to cook the damn things, it's not a problem. But these people were not real keen on cleanliness. And at one point, the guy said that while they were brining their crawfish, their plumbing backed up. Oh. Dude, I know. I totally know. And I'm like, I looked at my significant other and I said, if I ever think about going over there for a crawfish bake, just shoot me now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your cats don't eat fish. Corolla, that is weird. Our cat loves, what is that? Her favorite food is that white fish. Yeah. yeah she loves it. Oh my gosh. And talk about all I have to do to get her to come into the room is open a can of tuna. Because I like albacore, and apparently she does too. We would go to a diving buddy of, let's have a crawfish boil. Oh, eight 40 pound bags? Wow. That's a lot of crayfish. That, mmm, yums. Corolla, he likes beans. Didn't they give him gas? Or is that TMI? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. If it does give us gas, does it scare him when it happens? <laughs> does he scare himself? Oh my god, that's so funny. You are a funny guy today. What? You know. What? Half the time going to dog farts it scares them, so I know. Oh my gosh. Although jacks are pretty silent. I don't think it would scare him because because you know they're silent. Okay, let's stop talking about gas. Where's my white? Okay. Afraid of fish? Wow. Turn down shrimp? Oh, my God. Oh, our dog would not turn down shrimp. Our dog wouldn't turn down anything. In fact, he ate something off the floor. Was it yesterday, the day before? It, I think it was a piece. Yeah, I think it was a piece of plastic. He'll eat anything. And he's, I mean, you know, he's a Jack Russell Terrier. You'd think he'd be smart enough to not eat anything. But no, this one, he will eat anything. He's been known to swallow birds whole. Yeah. Which is really unnerving, actually. I am using my buff titanium right now, the Karen Dash uh, Luminance. Buff titanium to put in some highlights on the jellyfish. 
because I am actually almost done. Oops, missed a spot. <laughs> I'm almost done. Past Wednesday, I had to take Layla to the emergency vet. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, what happened? I think I'm going to use some of this here, too. I want it to look like it's glowing a little. I hate it when pets are sick because you, they can't tell you what's wrong, you know? Knock down a plastic cup for my table. Oh, cats. Oh, my gosh. Our cat, our cat doesn't. What annoys me most about that is when they look right at you. <laughs> That's not like something I'd do. Look right at you and flick the cup right off the table. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but animals, you know, they can't tell you what's wrong, and that breaks my heart. I'm just. <sighs> Whoops. Well, that didn't go where I wanted it to go. <laughs> we were at the vet all morning and part of the afternoon and had all kinds of tests done. It turns out she ate something that didn't agree with her. Oh my god. Yeah, you can't watch them all the time, can you? Poor baby. Aww. Oh my That's god. Uh, yeah, you know, if our cat did that, I, I would probably like walk the other, do the exact same thing she does. I'm gonna walk the other way with my, with my tail in the air. <laughs> oh. Yeah, our cat. I don't know. She's weird. She doesn't uh, knock stuff off like normal cats do. But she's been really weird lately. She's been like meowing really loud all the time. And every time Mark takes the dog out and there's nothing else going on in the house, like if I'm not obviously in the same room with her doing something, then, you know, if I'm quiet and she doesn't, you know, notice me as well, she starts crying for them when they go outside. She Oh, Evelyn, that's so cute. See, now, if a cat patted my leg, I would totally be okay with that. If a cat was just like, you know, hey, pet me, I'd be fine with that. Instead of knocking stuff off of whatever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, you guys, this is so much fun. I really am enjoying the conversation. You guys make me laugh so much. It's good laughing. Hmm. A little bit. A little bit more. Let's put some more here. And a little bit of white around the edges. Oh, yeah. That's good. And this is some of it's going over the um, white charcoal that was already there, which makes it look really, really cool. It's like blending with the white charcoal. I like the look. Rochelle says her squeakers just yelled mama now. Oh my god! <laughs> That's pretty amazing. You know, it's, I find it really fascinating how much of a vocabulary cats have. That there's so many different sounds that they can make, you know, meow sounds or other sounds. Our cat has a very big vocabulary. It's 
So Z's asking a question. Z? It says, is Z on paper? I think she's asking, is that on paper? Oh, yeah, Z. This is on paper. It's it's um, gray-toned. <clears throat> oh, what's it called? I think it's mixed media paper. But yeah, it's it's gray toned paper, and I chose it because it's underwater. I chose the gray because it's underwater. If it was something else, like maybe, um, you know, outdoor outside scene, I might have done um, tan toned because I wanted to use the white charcoal on it, and it, it just doesn't work. <laughs> Using white charcoal on white paper is kind of pointless. So, I mean, it still blends well, but. Yeah, I wanted to get done with this. I don't think I'm going to because I talk so much. But like I said, when I finish it, I'm going to finish it off cam and then I will post it on Instagram. I did post something earlier on Instagram. It was one that I, I think I told you guys, one that I found that I didn't think I posted. But yeah. Oh, we are at an hour and 36 minutes. <laughs> Z, that's okay. I can translate. Oh, cool, Arnie. <laughs> Aw, Rochelle, I'm sorry. Your dog purrs. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Z, your dog purrs. Is this, is this a Doberman? Oh, no, Evelyn. You can still look. I think you can still look at it. I don't know. It's a good thing. That's cool. Yeah, I think, I think Instagram allows you to look. But you can't comment. Right. Unless you have an account. Right. Yeah. I think. But, you know, like everything else... They change the rules every, like, you know, six months. I know. I know. I hate that. I wish they'd just, you know, if it's not broken, why try to fix it? Says, yeah, it's a yeah. Aw. Dog that purrs. Very cool. <laughs> it's pretty wild, actually. Okay. Um. Oh, <laughs> I've still got this tail to do. Son of a gun. I know, huh? Mark's yawning. Mark's been really tired because the dog keeps getting him up really early. And he's old. The dog is old. Sorry. The That's dog. Okay, I'm old too. <laughs> oh, the dog is old. And, you know, he doesn't. He doesn't have really good bladder control anymore. Oh, Shannon, really? Uh, it kind of makes sense. I know that on DeviantArt, on the, the website where I have my art portfolio and everything, you can look at the art there unless it's like tagged as adult stuff or you have it set to where people can't look at it unless they have an account. Um, but otherwise, I think they can still look at it, most of it. Oh, oh, Evelyn, you finally got on the Facebook page. You mean the the um for the YouTube channel? Nah, thirty is not old. Oh, he owns us. Thanks, see. Yeah, he kind of does. He's got Mark well trained. Yeah, well, that's your fault. It's my fault? Well, yeah. I didn't mean to get sick. No, not that. You're the one that drained me. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I said, you poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. See, he makes me laugh so much. I don't know where I'm going with this. I think I messed up. That's okay. Just remember her tail's blushing. 
<laughs> Jail's blushing. Thanks, man. I forgot. I'm just going to kind of go random here and... and yeah, everyone says it's the crappy cauldron group. Okay, cool. Yeah. And Z, if you want to go check out the, the YouTube channel page, you know, go. There's a link. I think there's a link under the... In the video yeah, description. Yeah, I, I think I got all that stuff done. So. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And if you guys want to see other stuff like um, aquatic coloring stuff, coloring pages and illustrations, um, check out Catherine Dottillo's website because she's got. Oh my God, this lady has the coolest coloring book. It's super neat. The, the video chat. The video I'm sorry. What? You put her link in the video description, too. Yeah, yeah. I put a link to Catherine Dottillo's, um website where you can purchase the, her images to color. So if you want to do that. I don't think they're very expensive. If I remember right, they're very reasonably priced. So, yeah. Your art room, your rules. Oh, yeah, Evelyn. Do you... Um, you got that? Uh, yeah, you can answer that. Mm. Sorry, uh, Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Good to see you. How are you doing? Yeah, Evelyn, there aren't very many rules for that page. It's just, I mean, you don't even have to answer questions to get onto the page. And I did that on purpose. Um, but um, I think it's 16, Mark, 16 or older. I'm, I don't remember. I, for, for adults that are 18 or older. Well, YouTube wants you to specify. I don't want little kids in here because, I mean, alone. If, if somebody, if there's a little kid that, wants to watch over their mom's shoulder that is up to their mom right we, can't stop that. right we can't stop that there's nothing we can do about that okay well a hottie santa claus what is your real name i mean i know that's that's your youtube handle but we what's your what can we call you that's like not uncomfortable because <laughs> that's kind of uncomfortable for me Steven? Okay. Well, hello, Steven. If you're over 16, then you can stay. If you're not, I would like for you to leave because this is for 16 and older. It's because some of the stuff that we talk about and some of the subject matter is not for kids. And um, uh, that's it's my responsibility to let you know that. What was the name of the artist? The, the artist for this picture, Lulu? Catherine Dottillo? <laughs> Evelyn. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Okay, well, let's see. Let's put in some of this pink. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to make that darker, I think. Right in that little fold. That's better. That's better. So... Steven, how old are you? Because this is bugging me. And don't lie, because we have ways of finding out. <laughs> Mark is over there going, oh, God. I'll just take out my trusty pendulum and, you know.
Yeah, I don't like it. <clears throat> what? Says she loves with all her she gets to hang with all her oh, cool. Your furry friend is already sleeping? Aw. She's fairly new on the coloring book scene, but as an illustrator, she's awesome. Yes. I know, Shannon. What's up with that? I hate that. They took that capability away from us, and I, I think that makes things a lot more difficult. I mean, if, it's like they don't want us supporting each other as well as we were able to or something. I just have a long list of, of people I need to go to and, and subscribe to. I'm not kidding. I have like, there's like 10 people so far. And that's just, I just started doing that this last week. So I know why, why, what, what could that possibly, how could that possibly help anybody by taking that away? I don't know. So Steven didn't ever answer me, did they? Okay. I mean, maybe they left. Oh, there you go. A lot of art videos in your stream was in my recommendations. Was it? Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Still, though, Stephen, how old are you? Whoops. Whoopsie. That's better. Now let's try some bright, annoying, bright neon pink. <laughs> Sorry about turning the page, guys, but it's really, it's it's a lot easier to color if I'm, if I'm turning my page. So I apologize if it bothers or or if it's hard to watch, um, but I do need to kind of do that. Oh, that's a little much. See, dang it. Push too hard and look what's happening. Ugh. I'll just go from 1 to 90. How old are you? <laughs> Shannon, thank you. <laughs> That's a little better. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to darken that up a little bit. Oh, that just makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Well, that's kind of cool. Hey. Life gives you lemons. It says he's 16, nearly 17. Okay. Um, well, technically, no, that's, fine. that's fine. But I got to tell you, man, this is not a kid. This is an adult live stream. So there you have it. If you are easily offended, yes. Or if your parent might come in and, you know, be offended, then best to not stay. And let's see. Hmm. Shannon, that's a really good question. <laughs> Cindy, you know what? I never thought I'd use neons, but it really is. It, I think it's fascinating. I mean, as far as blending colors, it's fascinating how they help. And I, I got to thank Lisa again, Lisa Matrokin again, because I would not have considered using them as as much as I do now. Um, if if I hadn't been watching her, are you leaving, Z? No, uh, Lulu's on the Oh, okay. Oh, Lulu. It was good seeing you. You take it easy, lady. Stay safe, okay? Ain't your first rodeo, Shannon? Oh, boy, I know. <laughs> yep, year. We want the year. Thank you. Uh, okay, now I kind of want to see here. That doesn't look too bad. That's her tail. Don't mean to give you a hard time, Steven, but I need to keep my butt out of hot water so I don't lose my stream. You know what I mean? 
I need to, I, if I don't, I, I want to not lose my YouTube channel. We're all talking like we're old. Oh, Z, you never seem old. You always seem like you're 20. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stephen, we don't worry about nudity either. Sagging in nudity is so sad. <laughs> oh, Cindy, I got you covered there. Saggy. Yep. <laughs> it's getting better, though. I mean, it was, you know, losing a lot of weight makes you sag more. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness let's see oh my gosh wow we're almost at two hours guys you're a superhero yeah color color draw absolutely Absolutely. There's a lot of really good YouTube videos out there, from tutorials. If you want to find a really good uh, person to follow, Stephen, for, for art tutorials and coloring and, you know, how to blend colored pencils, etc., Lisa Matrokin is a good one. And who else? Um, Laura Colors, too. Laura, is, she's super good. Bye, superhero. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Dee Dee. It was good seeing you here. Thank you so much for coming by. Have a good dinner. Oh, yes. Okay, secrecy, identity, and zucchini kitty. Yes, absolutely, Cindy. Thank you. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, Zucchini Kitty, man. I you know, watching her is very relaxing. She's got a great voice and she's always got I mean the way that she colors, she can teach you so much in just one video. Very, very cool. Oh, and always coloring. That one too. Very good. Yeah, I, I need to quit p picking it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I just keep coloring it and coloring it. I'm going to mess it up if I'm not careful. Okay, so I think I'm going to start on her tail, and I'm going to put these away. So if I don't put them away now, I will forget where they go. Um, I already did. I already forgot where they, <laughs> where they go. Oh, I'm set to dork. Let's see. This is D. This goes here. This is... V, this goes, I believe this goes, yep, right there. And this goes over here. And that goes there. Okay. So, her tail. Um, How about, uh, I don't know, emerald green. How about turquoise? Like, big, bold turquoise. I am using Erotogen pencils. Tombow Erotogen. These are amazing pencils. This is the insert you get with every with all of them. Um, they they're for a pack of thirty. It's about thirty dollars. So they're they're only, they're not really super expensive, which I like. You don't have to buy all three of them at once, which I also like. And um, you can get them at a lot of different places. I think I got my all of mine on Amazon. So some of them were actually less than $30. But yeah, it's these are really, really nice. They're, they're kind of, they're not as soft as Prismacolors, but they're very, very pigmented and they blend well with each other. So yeah. Very cool. Oh yes. Thank you. Thank you, Arnie. If you have a YouTube channel, and you would like people to follow you on your YouTube channel, put three hearts in the chat, three hearts after your, your name, so people can follow you. 
Um, Dee Dee has a channel. Dee Dee is really talented. Um, uh, she's a crafter. My cat says hello. Come here. Come on. Oh my God, you're so loud. Oh. There she is. There's that cat head. Hey there. Your little whiskers. Yep. There we go. There we go. She's tolerating me. She's about ready to scratch and hiss and stuff. Hi, guys. Good to see everybody. Yay. Okay. Ugh. Yesterday, she got up on top of that. She, we have this little shelf that runs along the roof. Uh, I mean, the ceiling inside. And she gets up there and she kind of frolics around. Um, but yesterday, she got up there and she... I cleared a space on top of the refrigerator so she could jump down, but she didn't jump down from there. She jumped all the way from the ledge to the top of this dresser where her cat food is. And we have to keep it up there because the cat, the dog will eat it if we don't, but there's a dresser and the dresser is about four feet tall, but from it's like a, what would you say? Like a five foot jump from the ledge to the dresser top. She jumps from there and she hits so hard. She, I was worried about her because she, she was like stunned for a minute. She didn't land on her feet. She landed kind of on her side and there was nothing I could do. I mean, she, she was up on the top ledge and then she was down on the dresser and she just, bam, she hit really, really hard. She was okay, but um, I don't, she hasn't gotten up there since. And I'm pretty sure it kind of scared her because she was very quiet for the rest of the day. And then, and then, for her nightly frolic, Mark locks her in the oh, office. <laughs> He's bad. He lost the Parent of the Year award. Again. Again. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, poor thing. Yes, I know, Corolla, the Prismacolors have so many cool colors. I love my Prismacolors, and I need to I need to use those soon because I'm, I'm like, having a craving. But, yeah, the, the, the um, Erotogen pencils, they have a lot of really beautiful colors. They really do. Um, mm, you know, they've got the whole, the whole neons, and they've got very pale, and then dull tone, fluorescent. Deep tone, and then on the other side, there's there's more. So there's 90. I don't even think they have open stock. I'm not sure. I'd have to go onto the Tombow website and check that out, or on Amazon or something. But yeah, they're good pencils. Okay, so her tail. Hmm, I'm thinking like. I'm thinking like really bright blue. Yeah. I'm thinking something really bright, maybe with teal undertones. Let's see, what is this? Ice green. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, yeah. Hi. Well, hi, Michelle. Hi, yeah, we're just getting ready to, to um, close this one down. I have one that gets on top of the door somehow. Oh my god, Shannon. Yeah. Your cat Gracie falls from, from the, the first cat I ever had that wasn't what? Graceful? Oh, yeah. She, her middle name is Trainwreck. It's totally. She's not graceful at all. It may have something to do with the fact that she was raised around dogs. I mean, in a rescue house, in a rescue home. She was, it's just She's not graceful. She's fallen off of st being asleep on her cat condo and then boom, she hits the ground because that she rolls off. I, that I, I know. Well, you weren't there when she was swinging from the blinds. Nope, right. <laughs> <laughs> that was just so, so stinking funny because she was just like, hey, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. So I think I'm just going to go over this with this turquoisey color. And start there. Very light. And then I'm going to deepen the color. You can barely see this. And that's kind of the way that I want it.
just going to put down a little pigment here. I think maybe I'll, I'll make uh, these little these little pieces here, like maybe a different color. Maybe bright green or something. Something wild and crazy. And yes, it's about time for, for us to, to go. You guys, it has been so fun today. I really, I appreciate you guys and I appreciate the, the conversation and the humor and, and everything. You guys are so awesome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. It's been super fun. So I don't know if Z is still here. I screwed with their timing. Five months in the pound. Oh, wow. Okay. I got to quit getting distracted. Sorry. Whoa. Stop. Stop it. Okay. Uh, we, we did the, uh, I love you too Z miss you so much oh my gosh <sighs> oh Shannon thank you for being here it was fun I love live streaming I really do it's it's a lot of fun I didn't get as far as I wanted to on the picture but that's okay it'll get done eventually yep aw you too Mark <laughs> that's so cool Oh, night, Corolla. You go sleepy. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> pleasant dreams. <laughs> and everybody else, pleasant evening, day, morning, wherever you are in the world. Um, please take care of yourselves. Peace, love. Remember, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Make it a happy, crafty, colorful one. And please, 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 if you're going out in public, don't touch your face. I don't care what they say. The COVID-19 is still out there and it's still raging so just be careful i don't want to see anybody i know get sick okay take care love you guys it's been super super fun i will see you next sunday and i'll put up some more videos probably in the meantime i've got some flip throughs to do so woohoo and some etsy arnie, listings thanks for modding. and yes arnie thank you mark thank you arnie for modding i appreciate it so much and thank you for coming a little early too that was super cool so I will see you guys soon. Take care. You know how to find me. <laughs> I see you soon. Bye-bye.